Alright guys, what's going on? Welcome to a new mini-series on Android, I suppose. Uh, today we're just going to talk about debugging. So if I go back to my home screen. Yeah, so we're going to talk about debugging Android. And this is actually a capture. This video is of my Nexus 5. So the first thing we're going to do is obviously go into debugging settings, or developer settings. And we're going to take a look at some of the more obscure debugging options. I'm going to show you two today, which are really, really handy. So down at the bottom here in Hardware Accelerated Rendering, there's a couple of nice options. The first one we're going to have a look at is Overdraw. So I'm going to tap here. And on, uh, on I think, 4.3 or 2, they introduced this. But what we're looking at is the option that's on every phone is Show Overdraw Area. So we're going to turn that on. And the screen shows some extra colors. So essentially what's happening here is that the phone is showing us how many times a pixel has been drawn. So anywhere where there's no extra color, it is it, the pixel has been drawn once, blue is twice, green is three times, red is four times, and then very dark red is five times overdraw. Essentially, the rules of thumb are mostly blue is allowed. Um, if you've got the whole screen is green, there's at least one layer of overdraw or one entire layer, maybe a window background you can take out. And if you've got lots and lots of red, fix it. So let's take a look at some apps. Uh, I won't show you Gmail. We'll take a look at Bacon Reader. This is a Reddit app. So as you can see here, look, we've got the situation where the whole of this back screen is green. Now that's actually a problem. This app shouldn't have a green background. It should be blue. So what the app is doing here is the app is drawing a color in its layout, a background color over the window background. So you have uh, a good way of getting rid of one layer of it is to make sure that you set your style, to, uh, your style's window background to be the color you want for your app uh, or get rid of it altogether by saying at null in your style. Uh, this is a very, very useful way of seeing this, but that's a typical app. Uh, and they could eliminate a whole layer of overdraw, which means the graphics card would have to do less work. Let's take a look at another app. Um, there's always some good apps, bad apps. Uh, the journal.ie, this is an Irish news app. That's an advertisement for Centra. So as you can see, we've got lots of red here. And that red is actually a side menu. So that side menu is always there, hidden away. Now they could use um, a navigation drawer that's off screen. Uh, I'd rather use the navigation drawer, but what are you going to do? But this app, again, lots of green. The whole background is all green. And if you look at it, you'll notice that the top bar, the blue, the blue action bar, is also green. Because that's uniformly green, the action bar color is separate to the thing. That means, because if you go back to Bacon Reader and take a look at their action bar, their action bar is blue which means they're overlaying uh, a layer. The action bar shouldn't have any color at all. It should be, you set the action bar background in the style. But yeah, so the journal is actually drawing the action bar independently. So that's not actually an action bar at all. That's something else they've come up with. And an easy way to tell is, see the drawer icon? It's not a menu item. Anyway, that's overdraw more or less. Uh, Facebook has recently improved its overdraw situation quite a lot. As you can see, <laughs> the oatmeal. <laughs> go go look at the oatmeal. Uh, Facebook isn't too bad. They've got lots of blue, some green and the lower thing, but you can tell that by the color of the action bar, these aren't actually uh, menu items. This isn't a an action bar. I don't think it is anyway. It looks like a custom something or other. But it looks like a custom layout they've overlaid over the action bar, which, yeah. I've never been mad on the Facebook app because it's always been terrible. Seriously, wait till you see the next time we look on a Facebook. It's going to be ter it's a terrible, terrible Android app. Uh, any other good apps in here that we can take a quick look at? Anyway, that's more or less it. Uh, I don't want to show you anything else. But anyway, guys, that's Overdraw. Uh, make sure to try and reduce it as much as you can because the less overdraw, the less work your phone is actually doing. And you know, as I said, make sure that in your activities theme, you set the property Android window background, I think it is. You might have to Google for this. And if you're using backgrounds on your XML, like colors in your XML file, 
make sure to set it to at null and that will kill the window background and cut down an entire layer color to draw it makes everything a lot easier but anyway guys that's the uh, gpu overdraw next time we're going to take a look at gpu rendering and profiling so and see you next time